Hello everybody, uh, welcome to lots of new subscribers over the last few days. Thank you for subscribing, it's really great to have you along. Um, I have a confession to make. I wanted to do some grinding, uh, blacksmith grinding to get my um, stats up to uh, so that I could improve enchanted weapons. So yesterday um, I acquired myself um, the uh, ebony blade and uh, got that, I, I didn't take any go along, well I, actually I did take any go along just in case but I, as I thought he has got no dialogue specifically for that quest anyway. Um, but then I've also done a video on how I upgrade that without actually hurting any friends. Uh, it's, it's called Guilt, Guilt Free Ebony Blade I think and uh, you can find my video to that how I do that so um, that's actually upgraded to its full um, potential against bandits and so it's so it's also um, I've improved it on the grindstone and um, it's fully upgraded um, to its um, life life essence extracting abilities um, but anyway, while I was upgrading that, another confession to make is I I um, killed uh, Alain Dupont. He attacked. I was trying to keep him alive, but he kept attacking, and he got in the way, and I uh, ended up killing him. And I've got this letter. And I've never had this letter before from Murray, who is the um, assistant in the um, Hag Hag's Cure in Markov. And um, so she sent me this letter, and I think we should go and check that out. But it's time for me to go and see Inigo and get him back on our side. The, um, the rest of our companions are resting in Clockwork Castle. And um, it's just me and Inigo for, for the time being. Your friend is here. Hello, Langley. Hey, friend, it is nice of you to visit. Hello, Inigo. How are you doing? Greetings. Any thoughts? I'm thinking I hope we fight together again soon. I can guarantee it. Everything okay? Well, yeah. My sleeping area is simple but cozy. It also smells wonderful. I'm wondering when you will need me again. Very soon, that's actually why I'm here. But, in your... Oh, good night, Langley. What time is it? 6 a.m. Um, up here, you've got sweet rolls. And there's also Cobb and the Dragon. So I'm going to have that. There was one down here as well. I wonder what Langley is dreaming about. Who knows? Oh dear diary. Dear diary, my name is Inigo. Pleased to meet you. I have kept journals in the past, but never a diary. You are my first. Please be gentle. Dear Diary, my friend has forgiven me. 
It was a moving gesture. They are too kind. I am not ready to forgive myself yet, but my soul feels lighter. Dear Diary, I am glad my friend and I are together again, and very lucky he is so forgiving. Dear Diary, my friend and I have had quite a time of late. We met Langley and gained a powerful spell. P.S. I am the champion. Dear Diary, being summoned is a lot of fun. Langley calls it teleportation. Whatever you call it, it is fantastic. Dear Diary, my friend and I agree that Langley is on our side. He is full of bluster and has a bit of a temper, but he is a good man. What are you people that don't trust Langley? Take note. He's a good man. Dear Diary, my friend managed to collect more eggs than Langley thought they would. My friend is not to be underestimated. Dear Diary, I hope you are well. Just checking in really, how are you? Dear Diary, I know this ink is invisible, but I fear I may have just smudged you. I am sorry. Are you okay? Please write back soon. Dear Diary, I am starting to wonder if you will ever write back. I know my spelling is bad, but I do try. Do not hold it against me, please. Dear Diary, what is your favorite color? Mine is blue. Also, do you like sweet rolls? Dear Lazy Diary, I feel like I am just writing to myself here. Why do you not respond? Are you broken? Do you need fed? Dear Diary, I must get some ink that is visible. I am finding it hard to remember our last conversation. Dear Diary, if you are not going to write back, then what is the point? Are you angry at me? Again, I am sorry I smudged you. Dear Diary, Mr. Dragonfly says hello. Do not worry, I have told him about your grumpiness. He does not expect a response. Dear Diary, me again. I do not think you are ever going to write back to me. I have decided to take the high ground and still write to you. Dear Diary, here are some new words I have invented. I hope you like them. Tutelberg, Grimgog, Vamanyan. I will write down their definitions later. Dear Diary, here is the definition of a Tutelberg, a small floating rock of ice found in the sea. Is that an iceberg? Dear Diary, here is the definition of Grimgog, an expression you wear when you experience surprise and sadness at the same time. Dear Diary, here is the definition of a Vamanyan, someone who controls the universe by writing a secret language that I haven't invented yet. <laughs> Dear Diary, I just realized that you may be responding, but I cannot see what you are writing. Damn invisible ink. I am sorry if I was rude about you earlier. Dear Diary, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah, blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> so 
sounds like my diary. <laughs> Dear diary, I sometimes worry about the state of my mind. I hope I am not crazy. Do you think I am sane? Please be honest. Inigo, come on. I don't think she's going to write back to you. Come on. Greetings. Any thoughts? I'm wondering why we are not adventuring together. Hey there. I am thinking it is nice that you are here. Inigo, put your adventuring boots on. Let's go. Yes, we will fight side by side again. <laughs> uh huh. Colben the Dragon is a wonderful book. Let me carry it for you. If we're relaxing somewhere safe, I'll read it to you if you want. Just a minute. I will bear your burdens gladly. Colben the Dragon for you. What's next? Let's go. Goodbye, Langley. You were great company today. Whoa! I was chasing my tail. I am glad it made the trip with me. Good to see you, by the way. You want to ask me something? No. Nope. All set? Septimus! Big dweller in the beyond. I'll know your lost unknown and rise to your depths. When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. You said that before. I've brought you the blood you require. I can almost hear them. I feel their life energy. Come, I will make the mixture. I am here for you. This place smells old and mad. What's next? We're gonna watch this guy die. What is this? It's... It's just a book. I can see. The world beyond burns in my mind. It's marvelous. Something on your mind? No. Right now my mind is a dried up riverbed. Weighs nothing, I'll have it. Now we'll just read this book. I can't read. I have to, um... Ah! Hello. Come, my champion. I am not your champion, monster. Who do you think brought Septimus here? Who do you think protected you on your journey to open the box? Loose my knowledge on this world. Your free will is an illusion. Whether you acknowledge me or not is your own business. 
but I will be in your mind. Now, you have my Agma Infinium. It contains the knowledge of the ages, as revealed to Xarxes, my loyal servant. For hundreds of years, it's been shut away from the world. Septimus was a useful tool for unleashing it. Now, it is in your hands. Let us work wonders together. Bye! Uh-huh. No thoughts now? No, nothing at the moment. Wow. Perhaps he's only visible to me. Okay, let's have a read. Um, why not? trouble there. So we no longer have the book, but we are somewhat stronger. I am here for you. Okay, what is next on the agenda? Next we are gonna go and see Muri. Well, what am I supposed to do? Never leave the house? You want that ending? You're closing oh, the Oh, did stall. you need something? That's fine. You wanna give up now, out of fear? Is that what we're gonna teach our daughter? Mama, why are you and Papa fighting? We're not fighting, we're just... So you don't know anything I'll get you some house. Deep. No. Anyone seen entering or leaving? Strange oh, lights or unusual noises? It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. Excuse me, but do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? Um, nope. Seems no one in this city has. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. We believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship, evil rites, and so forth. You need any help? Let's go check it out. I was actually just about to head on inside. Yeah. Have someone watch my back. Follow me and keep your eyes open. Daedra are powerful creatures and tricksters. Never know what you'll find. How are you doing, my friend? I'm good. Come on. What's next? You going in or not? Fresh food. No wood rot on the furniture. Someone's been here. Recently. But the people I asked say no one enters or leaves. Wait, did you hear that? No. Nope. It came this way. That's it. Something's inside the house. 
Come on. We're getting to the bottom of this. Come out. We know you're here. You want to talk? <laughs> Did I scare you? This house is frightening my fleas. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. If you need anything else, just ask. There's another door. See if you can get it open. Yeah, no problem. Stendar's mercy. This isn't an ordinary Daedra. We have to get help. Weak. He's weak. You're strong. Crush him. I am not going to do your bidding. Ow. Something on your mind? Okay, let us get back to it. Let's get out of here and you go. You first. Come on. Let's go. Come on in. No. Kill him. Crush his bones. Tear at his flesh. Get out of my head, Daedra. You will kill. You will kill or you will die. I don't want to die. I can't die here. The Daedra has us. It's you or me. Well, no, we Wouldn't could just uh, live here and send out the pizza. Or, I can take your head. What an embarrassment. Yes, your reward is waiting for you, mortal. Further down. Had some nice stuff. Uh huh. Let's go get our reward. All set. Because we're not going to get out otherwise. Yes, further into the bowels. That's disgusting. So close, your prize is waiting. move on. That's pretty smart in go. Guess I'll have to get it. One rusty mace. Thank you very much. Fool! Did you think Molek Baal, the Lord of Domination, would so easily reward you? What do you see from that little cage? Speak! I see a rusty mace on a rubbish altar and the, and the spikes of this trap. I see all of that, but I'll say the mace. Rusted. Dry. There was a time when this mace dripped with the blood of the feeble and the worthless. 
But a Daedric Lord has his enemies, and my rival Boethia had her priest desecrated, left it here to decay until you came. I didn't want to help you, just let me go. Fine. I offered you a reward. You'll get the freedom your kind enjoys so much. But Boethia's priest is imprisoned as well. But not by me. He is hurt, suffering. Save him. Let him perform his rites one more time. And when he does, I will be waiting for him. Okay. Yes, my friend. What's next? Now we go and see Muri. Oh, we get there in the end. I will attack on sight. could get warm by that big fire. Bye bye Vigilant of Stendar. I'm gonna be a silversmith one day, like my mother and father. Good for you. Out. Bloody enough for you, outsider. More blood is always better. Then you found your home, friend. Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth. Welcome. Ha <laughs> ha! It's down the stairs, dear. Just come right in. The Hag's Cure is here for all your discreet needs. I'll bear that in mind. I have potions for disease, love sickness, irritating children. Now you let me know if you need a cure or anything else. I don't know if you heard that, but Inigo just said, sell off the skooma if you can. It is good for nothing. You want to do some trading? Uh, is being a hag a condition you can cure? I had no idea. <laughs> okay, what is next on the agenda? Let's, let's ask. Uh, oh yes, you'll need one of my special brews. Um, special brew sounds kind of nice, but the hag's cure. Tell me about that name. <laughs> Comes with living to a ripe old age. People start thinking there's something magical about you. Then... The insults. Still, a little knowledge of plants and potions can get you by. Not that anyone likes to admit buying things from you. See? I even have a little potion for the steward. Mind handing it over to him? Just say it should solve that problem he has. Uh, yeah, go on then. Thank you. Stallion's potion. I have herbs to mix. Uh, There's so much to learn about the shop. I'll never get it all straight. Yeah, you wanted to see me. I'm Bothella's assistant. She's the one you should talk to if you need an herb or a potion. No, you wanted to thank me for killing Alain Dufont. I'm truly grateful. Please accept this as a token of my appreciation. Now I just want to put the whole nasty business behind me. Why can't the men in this city leave me alone? Only saying hello. 
that's done. Okay, now we've got to go and see the steward. Quite, it's quest after quest. I am here for you. I'm wondering what the shopkeeper thinks of us. All set? What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongvor. We're done. If it's about the Hall of the Dead, no. You can't go in there. Why not? I can't talk about it. Rest assured, the Jarl hears everyone's concerns. You will be able to visit the dead again soon. I could help, if you tell me. All right. I was going to suggest the Jarl hire someone to sort this mess out anyway. We've discovered that some of the dead have been... eaten. Flesh has been chewed off. Bones were snapped to get at the marrow inside. We haven't caught anyone or anything yet. It's like it knows when I'm there. If you can get to the bottom of this, the priesthood of Arcae will reward you. Take my key, and be careful. Tread lightly in the hall. We don't know what's in there. So, whatever is living in there needs to die, that's what you're telling me. I'll take care of that. Here to see the you. Jarl. Who are you to Sorry. approach the Jarl of Markarth? Um, I'm not approaching the Jarl. I want to see his steward. Um, I'm looking to purchase a house. Very well. You may approach the mournful throne, but watch your words. Keep your eyes open for Forsworn when you're on the roads. Yeah. yeah. Rurik, I believe. I'm Igman's uncle as well as his steward. Is that um, delivery that you wanted for your horse? Oh, yes. Um, uh, thank you. Here you go. Some gold for your assistance and your discretion. No worries. Igmund, we need to talk about the Silverblood family. What about them? They seem loyal enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Anybody in here eating corpses? to a crypt smelling of steel and blood, but not fear. Yeah, come on. This place I feel the enough. hunger inside of me. Maybe we should no, take no. away. You see the dead. Your mouth grows wet. Your stomach growls. Maybe we should put our weapons away? It's all right. I will not dead? shun you for what you are. Stay. I will tell you everything you have forgotten. No, just come out here. You were young when you first tasted human flesh, weren't you? Then the hunger set in. Curiosity. What's the harm in just one bite? It's okay now. You found a friend who understands you. You can let go of your guilt. Blessed are the forgotten. Turned. What happened in the Hall of the Dead? Your cannibal has been taken care of. I don't need to know the details. Blessings of RK to you for your help. Here, take my amulet as a reward. Thank you very much. Have yourself a great day. Uh huh. Who made the gods, I wonder? No one ever told me a satisfactory answer. I'm hoping the dead here stay dead.
Okay, so next time we will not bother with that one, but we will go to see the Yarl of White Run next time. Goodbye for now. You have something to say? No thoughts? It would not surprise me if one day Markarth's human population just disappeared. Its residents wiped out by an army of grumpy machines. There is a constant war between manufactured geometry and the natural world in Markarth. Nature will win. She always does in the end. Markarth is sturdier than the minds of most of its people. Okay then. Okay, say goodbye and you go. Goodbye for now. <laughs>